Hello, grade 12 psychology class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson three in front of us called the Ash Conformity Study. Uh, this one is a lot more happy-go-lucky than the last one. Um, nobody gets hurt. Everybody is you know, happy at the end of it. Some people feel silly, but that's okay. Uh, so again, lesson three of the Influential Psychology Experiments Unit. Um, let's get right into the ash conformity study. You can see that uh, key point two is conform. So if you're not sure what conforming is, definitely look that up sooner rather than later. All right. So the purpose of the ash conformity study, there are a series of experiments um, conducted by this guy named Solomon Ash during the 50s. Uh, the experiment revealed the degree to which a person's own opinions are influenced by those of groups. So essentially, if you're in a group, does your opinion change based on the majority opinion within that group? Is it influenced by the people around you? So key point one is opinions. Are your opinions influenced by those in the group? Ash found that people were willing to ignore reality and give an incorrect answer in order to conform to the rest of the group to be the same as the rest of the group. They ignored reality, they ignored what they thought, um, and just went with the group. And it's a very simple experiment that he showed that this is, this is how this works. Uh, the reason he did this experiment so simply was because he didn't want to get other things, other factors to get into the, in the way. So first I want you to think about this. You don't necessarily have to write this down, but think about this. Do you think of yourself as a conformist or a non-conformist? Um, generally, I don't know about you, non-conformist enough to stand up to a group when you know you're right, but conformist enough to just, you know, blend in with the rest of your peers to not stand out too much. Um, research suggests that people are often much more prone to conform than they believe they might be. Um, just like in the Milgram experiment where much people are much more likely to obey authority than um, they think they will be. People are much more likely to conform to the group than they think they will be. So this is what the experiment was. Uh, essentially, there was a group of eight male college students that participated in a simple perceptual task. So essentially, it was just like seeing how long some lines were, their perception of the length of the lines. In reality, all but one of the participants were actors. So there were seven actors and one actual participant. The true focus of the study was about how the remaining participant would react to the actor's overall behaviors. So the actors knew the true aim of the experiment. Uh, they were introduced just the same as the participant so that the participant did not know. So you can see key point three is perception. We have a perceptual task here. Um, just trying to determine what does it look like to you? Is, it, is this line longer than this line? Um, that essentially was the question. So the idea is that we would see what the, um, what the effect of the group would have on the subject. What would they say? So here's a fun little picture. We've got the Stooges. There's not enough of them, but these are the actors. This is the guy that uh, we're studying, and this is Ash. He would be like the guy at the front. And maybe you've seen this before, maybe you haven't, but it was kind of just like a card with a line and they'd be asked to match it to one of these three lines. Which line does this match? Essentially was what they were asked. So each student viewed a card with a line on it, followed by another line, uh, uh, another with three lines labeled A, B, and C. So something just like this here, line A, B, and C. And then each participant was asked to say aloud which line matched the length of that on the first card. And the actors were given detailed instructions about how to answer. They would maybe all answer the correct answer or they would all answer the wrong answer. I think we can all see that this line right here is exactly the same as line A. Obviously, these are the same. No, I'm trying to play the trick on you. It's actually the same as C. But if you went, oh, I must have been wrong the first time, you might be conforming to what I was saying. But this line here, to me, looks like it would be the same length as C. So in the, in the experiment, the actors were given detailed instructions about how to answer. So 
so there were 18 trials, so 18 times there was lines with uh, matched up with the other lines on the card, and each participant and the actors were instructed to answer incorrectly uh, 12 of the trials. So those were the trials that Ash was interested in. Would the subject conform to the group view, even though they thought they were right? So Ash's experiment also had a control condition where there were no actors in it and there were only real participants. Here, oh yeah, we've got our picture again, just if you were forgetting, the actors and our subject. So the result, on average, about one third of participants who were placed in the situation went along and conformed with the clearly incorrect majority. And over the 12 trials, critical trials, about 75% or three quarters of the participants conformed at least once. And 25% of the con uh, participants never conformed. Even though it's very obvious which is the correct answer, 75% of the people answered incorrectly just to conform with the group at least one time. 32% of the people did it most of the time. In the control group, when there was no pressure to conform and everyone was just giving their own answers because there was no actors, um, less than 1% of the participants gave the wrong answer. So essentially, it was very obvious what the correct answer was all the time. But like 75% of people answered incorrectly at least once when they were pressured to. That's key point four, pressure. So in conclusion, in most cases, the students stated that while they knew the rest of the group was wrong, they didn't want to risk facing ridicule and being the only one that was wrong, right? even though they would have truly been the only one that was right. A few of the participants suggested that they actually believed the other members of the group were correct in their answers. So because so many people said that that was the answer, well, they must all be right. They can't all be wrong and I be the right one. That's kind of what they thought. And critics say this study does not mimic the real world situations people find themselves in when confronted with the pressure to conform. So essentially, people, some people say that this experiment is like too trivial, it's too simple, it doesn't actually give us any information about the real world because people are never confronted with, you know, a row of people being asked in order what they thought about this and all of them being specifically wrong. Uh, this is not a real world situation in any way, shape or form. That's what critics say. That this is not a great experiment because of that. Um, so we have the videos for you to watch, uh, two of them to check out as well. Um, we have the important terms and then the Ash conformity study questions. If you guys have any problems at all, please let me know. Um, but thanks so much for watching everyone. I do appreciate it and I will see you soon.